Hello and welcome to this episode of Makeup Box Mondays. In this episode I'm going to have a look at Tony Plastics Hips Natural Filament. So let's have a look at the intro. So this is a new type of material for me, hips. I haven't tried that before, uh, but I'm going to read out the uh, label. So I had to say, uh, it's uh, hips natural from Tony Plastics. Uh, hot and temperatures should be 220 to 235, and uh, bed temperature 80 to 100C, and speed 50 to 90 millimeters per second, and cooling low or none, and, and closure and ventilation advised. And I'll say hips is a dissolvable thermoplastic, which is ideal for printing supports with ABS parts. Hips is easily dissolved in laminate, laminate and prints at similar settings and ABS. It is, it is less prone to warping like ABS, making it perfect for brims and rafts on small and large print alike. Uh, also good for general use printing anywhere, uh, anywhere you would use ABS, but a bit easier to print. And it is selected for this month based on customer request at Earth. So you can get more information at tonyplastics.com. But let's have a look at the prints. I had a little bit of issue <laughs> here in the first print. Uh, came loose off the bed, and I ended up using Magigo on my PI sheet on the Prusa printer. And after a few few failures, <laughs> I, I got it to stick. <laughs> and I printed here. See, it lays a lot. Uh, it's <laughs> extremely white material uh, really nice looking but as you can see here there's some cracking uh, so layer adhesion for this print was not really good <laughs> you can see and this is printed without any infill so it's really sensitive to to layer adhesion and if there's some warping in the material it will crack very easily because i don't print with any infill so uh, this <laughs> looked a little bit cracked, <laughs> but otherwise it's really smooth and no issues with the overhangs and looked pretty pretty good. And then printed a, another maker coin and that one finished without issues and there was no cracking in this one. Uh, came out pretty pretty nice and uh, it looks pretty cool. And then I printed the Omnum model by Tessa. Um, the lower part of it was really smooth and really nice looking, but here's the evidence of no part cooling. <laughs> the, the, this top part here melted quite a bit. <laughs> and this is because of uh, the part cooling fan was off. And it's difficult to print really narrow prints like this with no part cooling. But the, if I would have slowed down the print, it would probably have been quite nice looking but like the lower part of it is really really nice and finally I, I printed the artist model by Gareth and that came out pretty nice as well and no issues until I just ran out of filament <laughs> so it, it didn't finish <laughs> but the lower part of it and the other side here was looking really nice and it's quite quite nice filament I just have to get a little bit more of it to do more testing with the, the cracking issues. Maybe if this had printed with infill, it wouldn't have cracked. But, uh, on to save one filament, so on the samples I print without infill. All, almost all the parts I do, so they sometimes have issues because of that. Um, but um, yeah, so you can see it's uh, <laughs> breaks apart <laughs> quite easily. But this will be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.